Kathy from the White Pigeon Library. We've got some new books. We have a whole bunch of new Spanish children's books and we're going to get more. So it looks like we're probably maybe going to have a section for children books in Spanish. We've got Mateo y su gato rojo, Mateo and his red cat. We've got La Red and that's about spider webs. And they really are fairly detailed books. You know, they're, they're nice. They're pretty, they're nicely done. We also have these in English. But um, we have a lot of stuff in English. We don't have that much stuff in Spanish. Emma y las abejas. Emma and her bees. And um, this one tells you a lot about bees. And it's, the, you know, it's nicely illustrated. Here we've got más allá. So I think that's meaning like forever. And, oh, it's a great illustrations. So, más allá. And we should have more, but we've got those in Spanish and we've got them in English. So good children's books. We've got The Word Dancer and Appalachian Trail by Stephanie Edwards. And it's about a woman who lived in the suburbs and she moved to rural Appalachia to teach sign language to deaf children. Um, I would think most of Appalachia is rural, but I guess it's not. Um, there's Boone, I think. It's still in Appalachia and it's a city. But you know, she has to overcome all kinds of suspicions from the townspeople. She's an outsider. She meets a priest who may or may not be a stalker, finds true love. So sounds like it might be kind of a fun novel and it's set in Appalachia. We've got The House Beyond the Dunes, Mary Burton. And um, it's a murder mystery. A woman goes for a romant romantic weekend with her boyfriend to a North Carolina beach house wakes up in the hospital apparently they were both at the bottom of the stairs and pool of blood and he died so she wants to go back and get her stuff out of that house as quickly as possible and she gets stuck in a winter storm and can't leave and so then all kinds of things come up and she starts to wonder if she knew him very well and what actually happened and was it an accident so house beyond the dunes mary burton we've got a new john grisham called The Exchange, and it's the sequel to The Firm. So it's 15 years later, and um, if you remember in The Firm, he and um, Mitch and Abby had, they were exposing a very, very large law firm and um, probably going to be in danger, so they fled the country. Well, they're back in the country, they live in New York. It's 15 years later, he works for the largest law firm in the world, um, an old mentor wants him to travel to Istanbul and um, he's going, but then all kinds of other things come up and of course he's in danger again. So the exchange, John Grisham. So we've got, we'll have more next week. Thank you.